What is going on my friends and welcome back to another video on the channel. On today's video we are going over Ada Cardano as its price did make the exact move that we talked about in the last video. In the last video we named it this needs to happen very soon and I was talking about this bullish crossover happening on the MACD and I was saying that I was under the belief that a big move was coming soon. Now of course we honestly have been expecting a big move to happen multiple times over the last few weeks and they didn't happen but the fact that we finally did see this nice little push up here seeing the price explode i mean it was honestly for ada's price this is a pretty big explosion going up nearly 10 percent in one candle that's absolutely beautiful so i want to kind of talk about what we're seeing from ada right now i want to issue out a warning you know of course i do like to play it on the safe side a little bit i'm going to issue out a warning here and then we're going to talk about what we can expect to see from ada's price so of course with that being said let's go ahead and let's get into it so first and foremost again we were talking about this bullish crossing that we were looking for on the daily macd okay now, if we do go ahead and zoom, 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 you can see that we finally did get this. This is absolutely massive. This is one of those events, and this is one of those indicators that does not happen often. But when they happen, typically, it is going to be a massive, massive, massive move for whatever crypto that we are looking at. Now, one thing we do need to pay attention to, though, is the last time in which we did see this. Now, the last time we saw this was going to be on October 2nd. On October 2nd, of course, we did see a nice little push up. You know, we saw the price going up, but realistically, it didn't result to anything. We were unable to clear some of these key levels of resistance, and it just forced the price back down into seeing a bearish cross not too long later. Okay. And so, with that being said, of course, this is a great sign and this is a great step, but we definitely need to look at some other indicators before getting too excited here. Now, one thing that I will take to, uh, tell you guys to take a look at is going to be the fact that at the moment, at this exact moment, we have just broken a key key level of resistance on the RSI. If we go ahead and we put this as a 1x, you can see that this has been our resistance. This has been our resistance line right above 50 on the RSI. And at the moment, we are looking to clear it. So what I'm looking for on the daily charts is that can we hold above the 50 on the RSI? If the price starts to roll back over and if we start to lose some momentum and resistance fails and we start to roll, realistically, I'm not going to think too much about this daily MACD cross. Because as you can see here on the MACD, the last time we got this daily MACD cross, we ran into this resistance at the 50, and then the price just started to get pushed back down again. So at the moment, again, what I'm looking for is can we get above 50? If we can get above 50, like we are now, and hold above 50, that would be absolutely phenomenal. Now, the reason that I'm so focused on this right now and not getting too excited, this is a fantastic move, but I'm not getting too excited just yet, is due to the fact that we are at three strong levels of resistance, okay? The first level of resistance that we are at is our Fibonacci 0.236 at $2.11. If you go ahead and you draw a Fibonacci, let's go ahead and let's just do it live just so you can see. You take your Fibonacci and you draw it from our all-time high down to the low that was put in just a few days ago on October 27th. You can see that our 0.236 level is running in, you know, being used as resistance already. We came up and we touched it, but we lost that level so far and are running into some resistance there. So, of course, with that being said, that is going to be step number one. We want to see us hold above $2.11 to $2.12. Now, the second level of resistance in which we are running at is going to be from our EMAs. As you can see on our EMAs here, we are running into some very strong resistance, again, at the 50 EMA on a daily charts. This is a level that we have run into resistance multiple times on this entire run up. And if we're not able to clear it here, there is just a there's a good chance that we're still going to see another rollover similar to what we saw back here. OK, so we need to be looking to see, can we go up and can we get back above our 50 EMA? Now, the beautiful thing is we were actually able to hold above our 20 and our 100 for a little while. So the good thing about that is if we can hold here, we definitely may flip this 20 and 100 EMA as support, which could allow us to find the momentum to get back above this 50 EMA. Because remember, in the past, when we've seen these times where we're finally able to capture it, we're finally able to get that big push above it and hold above it, as we saw here, we established the support and boom, into a massive run up, okay? And so with that being said, if we can get back above the 50, that will be a massive step. And I do believe that a close above the 50 and then an, a next day above the 50 kind of gives us that full blown momentum and the understanding that this is highly likely the v-shaped recovery that we have been looking for 
Now, the final thing that I want to see happen right here is the clearing of this downward sloping trend line. Of course, we did see that we were at one point in the symmetrical triangle. If we go ahead and draw that there, we we're in the symmetrical triangle in which this was providing us with resistance. Well, as you can see, we do have this downward sloping trend line still established as resistance. And until we are able to clear this very, very technical level of resistance due to the structure that formed on the chart, I wouldn't be getting too excited. So overall, what I'm looking for right now now that we did get this macd cross now that we did see our rsi trying to clear above that very strong level of resistance i need us to get through some of these levels of resistance on the charts if you're looking for an exact number i would say that if we can get back above two dollars and 23 cents and hold there we are pretty much confirmed to be looking at the big move back up towards two dollars and fifty to two dollars and sixty cents but until we're able to do that definitely do tread with caution don't get too excited as we've seen multiple of these bull traps so far do understand i'm extremely bullish on ada cardano it is one of the largest holdings in my uh, you know in my total portfolio realistically but we do know that we are in this moment of consolidation that has had these fake outs before and so we need to be careful and tread carefully until we get those confirmations and the confirmations that we are looking for remember we're looking for us to get across the 236 level on the fibonacci which was at two dollars and eleven cents we also want to get above the 50 EMA on the daily charts. And then lastly, we want to clear this downward sloping trend line from this structural formation that we saw over the last few weeks. OK, so with that being said, I will update you guys as soon as I possibly can. I'm actually going to Los Angeles tomorrow, so I'm not sure if I'm bringing my computer or what exactly is going on. But I will, of course, update you guys again as soon as I can. If anything major does happen, if anything massive does happen. But do pay attention, guys, because if we roll here, remember, if we start to roll and we lose that 50 on the RSI, we definitely could be looking at a revisit back down towards two dollars so pay close attention to it okay so with that being said i will see you all very soon in the next video of course i do appreciate each and every one of you and don't forget if you do want to get in on the trades that i'm doing if you do want to see the trades i'm doing that's all in the patreon and if you want to make those same trades without paying a crazy amount in fees without having you know a lack of volume go down to the referral link in the description for Bybit. it'll provide you with some of the absolute best trading potential in which you can find within the cryptoverse i think it's one of the best exchanges out there so it's definitely worth the look but with that being said i will see you all very soon in the next video you have an absolutely amazing day peace